no matter how much you suggest to them that are, are you sure you're not just helping Fox in the ratings or giving them an even greater megaphone, they reject those arguments. So um, they know what they're doing and they're continuing to do it. Joe. Well, you know, I, I yesterday I said they were playing to their base, uh, and I was talking about their Democratic base. I think I figured this out. I think they're playing to another base, and that's the Washington press corps. Because uh, it doesn't make any, as Donnie Deutsch was saying yesterday, it doesn't make any sense to attack a cable news network because you drive their ratings up. They don't care. Let Glenn Beck and O'Reilly and Hannity get as high of ratings as they want. They've got to make Fox News a dirty name within the Washington press corps because look what's happened, as Savannah just mentioned. They bring up Acorn, and it's a Fox story. The mainstream media ignores it. In fact, ignores it for too long. Some apologize later. Fox draws political blood. What's the next thing they do? They bring up Van Jones. Everybody ignores it. The New York Times even has to apologize for not getting on that story earlier. The mainstream new, uh, media follows Fox News into, again, a story that I think most Americans would consider as legitimate as the Acorn story. And finally, right now, they're talking about Anita Dunn. Anita Dunn works over at the White House. She gets out and speaks a good bit. They found a quote of Anita Dunn uh, saying that her two favorite political philosophers were Mother Teresa and Chairman Mao. Now, that's damaging for any White House. Chairman Mao, of course, who many consider to be responsible for 60 million deaths, and let's turn this thing and realize that if MSNBC had found a Bush spokesperson saying that one of his favorite political philosophers was Pol Pot, that would have been picked up by the mainstream media as well. So Fox News, while they're throwing a lot of mud at the uh, wall, some of it's sticking and some of it's been damaging for this White House. So again, let, let's figure out what the White House is doing here. They're trying to get the mainstream media to not follow any of their stories, even if some of those stories would be considered, I think, legitimate by the majority of Americans. Mm. I, I don't know. Uh, I know we need to move on, but Joe, really quickly, uh, isn't it working for them, this strategy? Because even if they no. do draw blood with these stories, They've minimized no, them. No, no, no. Glenn Beck's ratings are higher than ever. Uh, O'Reilly's uh, ratings are uh, just uh, for no, a cable news show. But I think show, they've been aligned. Remarkable. But the media is still going to cover these stories. They ended up covering Acorn because it's a legitimate story. They ended up covering Van Jones because it's a legitimate story. Some will probably start covering Anita Dunn and her Chairman Mao remarks because it's a legitimate story. In the end, the mainstream media may be brought to these stories kicking and stream, screaming, but you know, Mika, if they're legitimate stories, it'll take them a little longer if Fox goes there first, but they'll follow. Savannah